Blog Talk Radio. Why you here? Where you say? Welcome to another episode of Tony Talk with me, your host, Uncle Tony. Now, before we get into anything with the show, I just want to share with everybody that uh, Blog Talk's acting up. I'm probably going to go on uh, a little bit of a dead air thing. This is, this is a problem. Bar talk has been a problem for a long time. Uh, I like the uh, I like the platform, but uh, it's, uh, it's kind of a pain in the tush, especially when uh, trying to get things working here. Anyway, so this is what's going on. Tonight is supposed to be a special night. There's an open invitation to someone that once was a uh, stonad that did nothing to aggravate me. Um, just uh, being, being a uh, stonad. His name is Jesco. Jesco, the last episode, decided that uh, he wanted to go back a little bit to a stonad ways. Him and uh, uh, my buddy DC too, uh, Don Cornelius and him, uh, Don Cornelius the second. They were friends. They decided to be friends. Uh, and then all of a sudden, uh, just got changed his mind. Just got changed his mind, and uh, it's no good. It's no good. Um, the problem I have. With that, uh, the, the him still doing the stupid things, is, you know, we we used to. I, I went out of my way to help him out, and uh, that's, uh, you know, it's 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 uh, pretty. Uh, I don't know what to say. I I don't know what to say. <sighs> anyway, just go if you're listening. You're not in the chat room. I'm looking in the chat room right now. I see the usual guys, except that he's new guys. Uh, this one's the nod. His name is Munging Tony's Ma. Munging Tony's Ma. Get out of here. Don't come in here no more. You're out of here. He got kicked. Joe Berte. Hey, Tony. Big fan here. Oh, hello, Mr. Sparkles. Mr. Sparkles is a good guy. So I'm going on to it, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, I, I guess since I, I didn't get any emails. I got some emails, but they were stupid. Uh, I got really bad emails. What's going on here is, well, uh, let, let's discuss a topic, okay? It's a very touchy subject since I'm going to be bringing Jesco on. And Jesco always seems to, uh, you know, they have a problem with race and stuff like that. And him and uh, the dog Cornelius the second got into it last show. Um, you know, I thought about that. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. It might be a bad idea, but I'm going to have them come on here. So just go if you're listening. Donnie, baby, if you're listening, uh, please feel free to uh, get, give me a call. Okay, that was stupid. I don't know what that was. Uh, you guys still there? Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, yeah, so in any case, um, racism, does it work? Doesn't it work? Um, yeah, I don't know. That's the thing. If you are a victim of racism, I, I personally don't think it works. If you are, if you are uh, uh, a victim of racism, please do me a favor and uh, call, call it. We'll talk. We'll have some advice just until uh, my other guests come on on the air. That's, uh, that's about all I can say about that. 
Daddy should about all I can say about that. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to start taking some calls. Got to start taking some calls, if that is okay with everybody else. Uh, I've got a problem with block talk. Please hold on. Please hold. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for the dead air. I know, I know, aggressive butt sex, which is a stupid name. Uh, I got, I got a lot of dead air here. There's something wrong with blog talk. It's acting up. Sorry, uh, help me lose my patience. I'm just trying to get my guys on here. Uh, I got a bunch of callers. I, I, I try to answer the damn thing. It's not answering. So, uh, that's, uh, I apologize for the technical difficulties. I apologize. We're going to go to cars for now. We're, 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 let's just go well, let's just go to cars, okay? We're going to go to cars. That's what we're going to do. 609. 609. Will you hear what you say? Do you want to hear what I'm going to tell you? Go ahead. I'm fucking muted. Tony. Tony. Hello? Hello, yes, hello, who is this? Tony, this is Barry from Barry's Flower Shop in Pottery. Uh, 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 What's the matter, Tony? What's the matter is I got blood talk acting up. And just when I think things can't get worse, there you go. There you go calling in my show. Barry, what? I, I, you and I always do this. War, war, and no sparkles, he's not my business partner. Well, why, Barry? Why are you going to call my show? Why are you always going to be the first caller? Why? Why are you going to call? Oh, my God. You know, uh, I'll tell you why I'm calling tonight, Tony, because uh, I'm, I'm a little aggravated with you. I don't understand why you always hang up on me. I am a legitimate businessman in Missouri. I'm receiving merchandise that has your name on it. And you continually get mad at me and hang up on me, and I don't understand why you do that. I I didn't order these items, Tony, and they're sent with your name on them. I guess I obviously you did not send them because every time I say you sent them, you get mad at me thinking that I set you up. I did not set you up. I don't know who's sending me these items. Okay? Now, now, calm down, Tony. Don't get all freaked out on me and hang up on me again. I am I'm not just trying, trying to hang to... up on you. I'm not trying to hang up on you. You're, this is a rough start. You're calling. Uh, this is not the voice I want to hear when things are getting weird. It's, uh, it's not the, it's not what I, 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 I want to get. So, you, you always call it with something weird, like something weird happens. But what, what is it? Well, what? Well, why nothing has happened. Tony, Tony, talk. Calm down. You're calm, the, calm the fuck down, Tony. Talk. Oh, don't start with the dirty mouth, don't, Barry. I was good to you. you don't start with the dirty You have to talk. calm down, Tony. I just want you to calm down so I can talk to you. I have not received anything from you since the weekend. Okay. But my, my reason for calling tonight is because I don't understand why you keep hanging up on me. Why do you hate me? What, what did I ever do to you that you would hate me for? Please tell me. I don't, I don't hate you, Barry. Barry, I don't hate you. You upset me. I never did. You, you, Barry, please. You, you upset me because you sell things. You're so fake merchandise in my name and my image. And you make money off this. You, you make money off this and then you call and you tell me about it. It's like rubbing it in my face. It's like, it's like rubbing it in someone's face. It's like someone losing a dodgeball 
and to your uh, on their birthday, they get a surprise birthday party in school. And what's the first damn thing you're given? Is a dodgeball as you get those red balls, the red rubber balls. That yeah, that guy uh, always get hit in the face. You get that as a gift. That uh, that's what it is. It's rubbing stuff that is someone's face. Well, that that is not my intention, Mr. Tony Talk. Um, uh, I am receiving merchandise in my business. Okay, and the merchandise has your name and your likeness. And a salami and that kind of thing on it. Okay, uh, I am not trying to bust your balls, Tony. Tony, calm down. I'm not trying to bust your balls. I'm a 53 year old man who's running a business here in Missouri, and I'm receiving merchandise. Okay, and you hang up on me like I'm the enemy. I'm not the enemy, Tony. I the only thing that I understood was the T-shirts. I sold the T-shirts. I admitted that I sold the T-shirts. Everything else I threw in the trash. You know, it's kind it's kind of a shame though to throw these in the trash because some of them are actually no, it's not. pretty. No, it's not a shame. 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 It, it was a Tony Talk T-shirt. Yes, it was. Those shirts are not made for me. They don't come from me. They come from somebody else. Listen. I understand that. I understand that, Tony. Can I stop Calm down racism? again. T Can Tony, I stop you're Tony. Racism? Do you have anything to say Tony. about racism? Do you have anything to say about racism? Anything at all? Tony, calm down. Calm down. Okay? I'm a bitch. Don't tell me to calm I'm down, please. I'm going to talk to you, don't and all you do is yell at me. I really don't. I wish someone tells me to calm down and aggravate your shit. Excuse me. Aggravate your garbage out of me. Well, yeah, but you're freaking out at me, and I didn't do anything to you. I'm, I'm telling you that I received merchandise with your name on it. That is all I'm don't telling away. you. And you didn't mean it at me. Oh, yeah, throw it away. Throw it away. Just throw okay. it away. I threw, I threw away. The bobble bellies, they're all, I threw them all in the trash. I threw away the Tony Talk blow up doll that farted when I squeezed it. That was, that was pretty crazy. I threw them all in the trash, but there was like 24 of them. I feel like I'm throwing things in the trash that are worth money, that someone spent money on these to make them. And all I'm doing is throwing them in the dumpster. Tony, are you still with me, Tony? Yes, I'm still with you. I'm still talking to the guy that sells flowers, my merchandise, and puts everything in vases made out of penises or in the shape of penises. <laughs> I gotta hang up on you because you're falling off a subject. You're calling in. You're breaking my balls. You're breaking my balls. The first call should not be a ball breaker. Get out of here. Don't call Barry. Barry, we're done. Don't call no more, Barry. Barry, get out of here. Barry's done. Ladies and gentlemen, if you got fake merchandise, if you're receiving fake merchandise, okay, it's not for me, it's for somebody else. I'm trying to breed my ribs hurt. I got a rib, I got my upper rib is out of place. I think I knocked my rib out of place by screaming at him. That's what I did. I knocked my rib out of place by screaming at him. This is what you're still. This is what you're still. Yay. Start making me nervous. You start making me nervous, please. That's all I'm gonna ask. You start to start doing. Six six nine. Six six nine. I'm waiting for my guest to call in. The subject is racism. What do you hear? What do you say? Go ahead. Well Tony, I'm I'm, I'm very sorry about that last caller. Uh I've seen that well, he upset you very much and yeah, it's uh I hate when you know people do that to you, but been down in the dumps for a few weeks now because my best friend and I have not been on good terms, and you know he just he just doesn't talk to me. So I've been I praying every you. night. I prayed about five minutes ago, about you know five minutes ago. Uh, I prayed and just hoping that he'd reach out to me. 
Oh, yeah, I'm I, sure I don't know. Get it to, oh, thank you, Tony. I, I think that may, you know maybe one day, maybe pretty soon, you know he he'll reach out to me. But um, oh wait, 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 wait. Here he is, actually. He 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 said since oh, I'm on great. your show, he wants he wants to say hello to you since I'm on your show. So Tony, here's my best friend, Anus. No, no, no. <laughs> Well, it's a gentleman. I say this once. I say this twice. I say this all about a thousand times. Stop calling it with facts. The show tonight is about racism. Uncle Tony's against racism. Don't call it the facts. Johnny, thank you for the call word. I got the call word, Johnny, thank you. Ah, uh, yes, Spencer, it does sound sister. Who are you to keep fighting? That's all they do. That's all they do. This is fact. Yeah. I got your message, Spencer. Thank you for the call word. Ah, I appreciate that. Sparkles, don't sit there and describe the facts no more, please. Uh, we are, we're not here to describe facts. We're not here to describe facts. I'm waiting for my guests to call. And... I'll take another call. 786. 786. What do you hear? What do you say? Topics racism. Hey, Tony, it's Madeline. How are you tonight? Uh, I don't know why I just. Why does this happen? Madeline! Just like Barry! Why are you calling my show? You never have anything to say. You say dirty things that make me sick. That make my listeners sick. Why are you calling in on this show, please, well, Madeline? Well I, well, I have some. I so I met Tom. I met him, and I met Willie Wong. And so we all had a we had a party at the, huh. at the Parker House Hotel. And I got the three of them each decided to, uh, the three of them each decided to, uh, they jerked off in a toilet. And then I, and then what I did was I sucked it up out of there so I could get pregnant faster. Call my show. 
Yeah, yeah, man, that was crazy. I've never heard such foul talk in my life. I mean, it, it, it's just disgusting. Hey, baby, shit. Hey, wait, I'm actually very sick. So tonight, guys, if you do hear me run over to my toilet and vomit, I'll make sure that I put the, uh, the phone on mute, uh, the microphone on mute. I apologize hey, for that call. Hey. Right. So, Tony, baby, uh, because I didn't address any emails tonight, my thing is this. We're going to address the dispute that you and Jessica had the other night. And uh, I think you guys were going to uh, uh, have a conversation yeah, about uh, the, study, the disagreements since you and Jessica don't get along no more. Yeah, well, here's the thing about Jesco. He, he's racist. He doesn't think racism exists, which is a problem for me, brother, uh, because he's called me the N-word multiple times. But, Tony, Tony, um, I got to bring this up because I came home today and my wife was standing in the door, right? And uh, I don't know how to say this, but somebody, somebody sent me a masturbation hut. Ah, and my and my my wife is pissed. Thinks that I'm fooling around with with you or some guy. And this masturbation hut is humongous. What? It's got wheels. It's 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 ridiculous. And Wait, so she wheels. wheels. Go ahead, shall we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wheel this thing. It's a it's crazy. It's huge. It takes up a lot of room. It's got your face on it. I don't know who the hell sent it to me. I don't know who the hell sent it to me. It could have been Barry. It could have been Jesco. It was probably Jesco because he knows my wife has kicked my ass. But anyway, she's not talking to me because I got this damn masturbation hut in the garage now. And I don't know what to do with it. I know you didn't do it. I'm not yelling at you. I'm just pissed the because garage. my wife is not speaking. What, Donnie, did what? this thing come a in the garage, Donnie, did this thing come assembled or something? No, man, that's the crazy thing. She said they wheeled it off the UPS truck. Sheesh. Yeah. How and, big, and, and how I, big is this thing? It's friggin' huge, man. I mean, huh. like, it's... I don't know. I don't got the measurements. I haven't even really seen it. Uh, well, I, well, obviously, I saw it once. But she kicked me out the house, brother. She wanted to know what the hell a masturbation tent is getting sent to our house for. And I told her, I said, listen, I don't know what in the hell the masturbation tent's getting sent here for. It's not for me. I don't need a masturbation tent. And she asked who was on the side of the masturbation tent. And I said it was Tony, the guy at the show I'm on all the time, but my friend. And she said, well, why is Tony on the masturbation tent? And I said, somebody's using his likeness to try to make money. And then she said, well, why the hell is he sending it to you? And I said, I don't know. Somebody's messing with me, baby. And she she did not want to hear anything I had to say. She kicked me out the house. She goes behind this, Tony. I swear to God, I'm going to put my boot in his ass. Ow. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, okay. brother. I'm sorry. I'm hey, upset. Sure, it's okay. I'm at the Donnie. Motel 6, man. Oh, jeez. Donnie, listen. This woman, you know, Mrs. Shides. Mrs. Shides really thinks that you're a homosexual or that you have the homosexual tendencies? No, I don't know what the hell's wrong with the woman. She will not listen to me. She knows I'm not gay. She knows I don't step out on her. And the thing is, I told her about Jesco. She knows. She heard me yelling that one night. Remember when you sang the song, I'll make love to you because she was mad because I used profanity on your show? Remember that night? Yes. She knows yes. about Jesco. She knows huh. all about Jesco, and I, man, I, brother, I, I'm really upset. I'm not mad at you. I just want to know why people sent, why they're sending this stuff out. Like it can wreck a marriage, brother. Hey, I mean, it's done. Listen, your wife should know that you're not a homosexual. By the way, you hit the sides. I mean, she knows, I brother, know. but she, don't, she she won't accept my explanation. Because obviously, like, if, if you're just sitting at home and some, somebody sends you a masturbation tent out of nowhere, I mean, it is going to be, like, kind of startling. Because who the hell has a masturbation tent? 
Huh. I can't, I can't 100% get mad at it, brother. I mean, because if it was me and somebody sent me a, a female masturbation tent or something like that, I would be like, what the hell is this female masturbation tent? What we, do you we mean got we got to get to the bottom of this. We got to get to the bottom of the people. Shut in me. Uncle Tony. Me. Pictures of me. Hard stuff like masturbation things. You block those. They're fat and fat and jazz and salamis and all that stuff. No. I think, I think Kent is behind it, and I think Jesco is behind it. I don't care what Jesco says. That man is behind this because he doesn't like bro- He does not like brothers. And I know that he's behind this in some way. He's either financially behind it or that some bitch is the one that actually sent it to my house. And I'll tell you what, Tony, if, if he comes on this phone line, brother, I'm going to lose my shit. No, Donnie, Donnie, relax. Donnie, relax. Here's what we're going to do. I don't know Jesco's number because he's just doing that. I'm going to go through some college. I'm going to go through some college. Tony, I'm living in a Motel 6, brother. Oh, Jesus. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Donnie, baby. Listen, if you, where, where are you, Donnie? Donnie, where are you? Well, what part I'm in of Baltimore. You? I'm in the ghetto, man. I'm staying at this shitty Motel 6. Wow. My wallet and everything is at the house. She kicked me out, brother. I where had to pay you? cash. I mean, listen. If you if you if you can't do the debate tonight, if you can't uh, if you can't uh, uh, talk to Jesco, uh, I understand. But listen, Donnie, send me an email. You got my email, right? I need you to send me your Venmo information. Uncle Tony send you a couple of dollars. How's that sound? Does that sound good? That sounds good, brother. Wow, that's well. I'm I'm a little taken back. That uh, you will really do that for me, brother. Absolutely. You're dirty baby. Why would I not do that for you? Well, can you do me a favor, brother? If Jesco comes on here, can you please confront him about this this, this craziness? I will. I will. Listen, if you're not in the mood to talk today, shut him a bitch. Uh, I understand. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't want to disrespect your show, man. And I, I, I tell you right now, if, if, if I hear Jesco's voice and listening to and hear that high-pitched bullshit, and him start lying and telling me he's not a racist and he had nothing to do with it, I will lose my mind, and I don't want to do that on your show, brother. That's fine. Listen, Dottie, baby, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put you on mute, and um, listen, I'll put you on mute. No problem. Thank you for calling. Dottie, I'm sorry. Listen, do me a favor. Send me an email. I'll send you a couple bucks. uh, Thank you, man. Yeah, no problem. Donnie, take it easy, pal. Sorry. Sorry I'm sorry. sorry. Amen. Amen. Jesus, Donnie Sides. Donnie Sides is down this rock. I was supposed to get a damn thing going tonight. Listen to me. Listen to me. Son of a bitch. You son of a bitch that's selling my stuff. You get damn near close. I'm burping because I'm upset. You came damn near close to ruining my friend Donnie Sides' relationship with Mrs. Sides. Because you had to send poor Donnie a masturbation tent with, with the friggin' wheels on it. Why would you have wheels on that thing? You can't walk down the street with it. And why does it have my face? It's yeah, stupid. Yeah, it probably is that Kent Harper that stole it to me. Son of a bitch. Jessica, if you're listening, call in. I don't want to talk to you no more, but I have to because a promise is a promise. Go back to the phones. Tonight's topic is racism. Racism, why does it exist? Who's a victim? And uh, that's uh, there we're going to discuss. We're going to discuss amongst ourselves. Please hold. I've got to go to our next call. 765. Seven six five. What do you hear? What do you say? You on the phone, Uncle Tony? Hello, Tony. This is Gary. Uh-huh. Gary Hogaboom. I have uh, Gary. Gary Hogaboom. Hogaboom. H O G E B O O M. Hogaboom. And oh, I'm a victim hey. of. 
I'm a victim of racism. Um, my problem is I have uh, very long limbs, arms, appendages, and uh, I have a middle finger that bends at about a 30-degree angle. So what happens is I'll flip someone off in traffic or something, and they'll point and laugh at me. So I, I'm at my most upset at that moment when they're pointing and laughing at me because my middle finger on my right hand is shaped like the state of California. Oh. It's disgusting. It's bad enough hey. that I'm a red hair. I'm red haired, so they call me a ginger all the time. <clears throat> it's breaking me up just thinking about it. So I'm red haired and I've got a middle finger on my right hand that's shaped like the state of California. Uh, you, said, you said that, buddy. Jeez. I, I'm really sorry, Gary. I, mean, I really oh, well, I'm sorry to bother you. Wait, what? You're not bothering me. You're calling me. I got a problem. Aren't you the guy that hey. does, helps people? Yes, you go, well, I you said that already. You know, you repeat a lot of your shit, too. You know that? Oh. Hey, oh, pal, my cat pudding. Not- oh, my cat pudding. Scratch me. Oh, blog talk is garbage. Oh, Jesco. Oh, you know, you say a lot of the same stuff, too, you know. First oh, time oh, caller, oh, oh, oh. this is how you treat me. First time so caller. you like, what? I said, I'm sorry that your finger's shaped like the, the state of California. I said, that's what I said. I said that I, twice, and now you're repeating it. See, now it's three times. Geez. Just, I'm going to go back in my tent, okay? I, I don't have the one with wheels. I'm a little pissed off. That you've, that you've upgraded them to version 2.0, and I've just got these uh, little no, 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 posts that Gary, it sits on. Gary. I got no wheels. I got no wheels. Are you going to send an upgrade Gary. kit for this? I don't manufacture these things. What don't you understand? I insist that you get... This is like that Apple bullshit with their iPhones. They're constantly coming out with a new phone. It's ridiculous. Now there's wheels on them. Give me a break. Fuck off, Tony. Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, I'm, I'm sitting here trying try to talk about this. You know, I, I try to help that guy out with the disfigured hand, and he's sitting there and he's mad at me. What is wrong with people? What is wrong with you? Oh, you call him back in, huh? Okay. Oh, you want to call back in after you say, go ahead, shut him a bitch. What do you want to say? Hey, Tony, this is James. Uh, I've been on hold for about 15 minutes. How are you doing this evening? Oh, jeez. Uh, sorry, I, I got the wrong. James, here we go. Okay, sorry, uh, James. Yeah, hey. Sorry, but I mean to call you a son of a bitch. Some handicapped guy just called in here and said bad things to me. Like, um, I got I'm used to people screen. calling me names. Huh? I'm used to people calling me names, Tony. See, I'm part, I'm a member of the LGQTP Alliance. And our people are discriminated against every single day. You know, we stand for equality for all. We believe no matter what your sexual orientation is, you shouldn't be discriminated against. Whether you're gay, lesbian, transsexual, queer, or a pedophile, you should be allowed to have whatever sexuality you want. No, 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 no. Listen, everything was right in the beginning. About that, that the, the, the gays and the trainees and all that stuff. But the pedo stuff, no. No, doesn't fly. No fly zone. No, you can't see Well, I just people. learned about the LG. No, I just learned about LGQTP from uh, Kenneth Fish Trans or Fish Man or Trans or whatever. You know, he's, uh, he, he's very active in the uh, LGQTP movement. He's a great guy. I, I think you've talked to him before. Uh, it's either Kenneth or Kent. From my understanding, they are the same person, but, you know, no, they... No, uh, there's, there's Kent, there's Pastor Kent, that's my friend, and then there's God, that Kent Harper, the son of a bitch. So why do you hate the R movement? Why do you hate gay people, Tony? You know, like, I ah. thought I was calling in to tell you about how I've been discriminated against, and I faced the same harassment. I From never you. said I never said that I was against the gays, James. I never said that. 
Joe just shut that. You, I don't want to say You hate our movement. You no, hate our movement, like so you must be against that. I don't that. like the pedophiles. The pedophiles' movement should be the only movement. Straight down to hell. You try to touch and then get away from it. Then why do you support Father Gianni still? Why do you still talk to Father Gianni? Man, he supports the LGBTP I, movement. No, he doesn't. What, what makes you think Father Gianni's a pedophile? Well, he's a priest, isn't he? In the Catholic Church. Fuck that. That's disrespectful. Get out of here. Don't call no more. Hey, Don't hey. Sit there. You, what? I guess you hate the gays. I guess you hate the gays, then, if you're just going to hang up on me like that. I so I, I understand hate, all your I all your listeners heard this conversation, but you like Father back. Gianni, who proud who's proud. Oh my! I don't even want to know what he's done. You know that's what is that what your problem is, Tony? Were you touched by Father Gianni as a kid? Is that the problem that you have? No, they, they, Did you he touch got you? a problem. No, I was never touched when I was a kid. I was never touched as a teenager or an adult. Just to let you know. The only people that so touch nobody's me, ever touched your no one no one has ever touched your penis is what you're saying. No one, ever. Except for the ladies. Except for the ladies. <laughs> the ladies uh, do you get the $20 them. hookers with Jesco? Do you get the $20 okay, hookers no. with Jesco, too? I don't. Get out of here. Don't call no more. So how much? No, he's out of here. James, don't call no more. James is... Okay. I do not... Except pedophilia as a movement, and you should have to go to hell. And that shit. Hey, you know, I'm really, I'm getting annoyed because everyone's saying, I got a lot of people coming here and saying, no, Pastor Ken, Pastor Ken did this. I want to know, Pastor Ken's a pastor, but does he really? I know he's for the uh, gay rights and lesbian movement, but he's just shut him a bitch. Guy, uh, Saying the truth, is he saying that the uh, father, that the that, that, that Pastor Ken, is the one that's saying this? Pastor Ken, if you're listening, call in and Father Gianni in my chat room. You send me another private message, send him a bitch. You're getting kicked out. Don't know. You want to demand me? Okay, send him a bitch. You don't want to demand me. I'll find you. I'm going to find you in the chat room list. Yeah, he left. Hey, you stupid. Get out of here. Get out of here. I can't, I can't deal with this stuff. Do it, Cheryl. Do it, Cheryl. What do you think? Anyway, that stupid Italian. Fat Tony. It's nothing more than some butt loving pedal. File that we do not need fucking eight year old kids, you know. Get out of here, ghost. That was a ghost guy. Ghost, get out of here. Deserve to be put in that damn little box that the ghost put you in. That's what you deserve to be in. You want to be a ghost. Oh, I'm ghost. Call my show. Tell people I'm a stupid Italian. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? I, I can't deal with stupidity. I really can't. 978. 978, Massachusetts. What do you hear? What do you say? You got a phone up with Tony. Tony, baby! Tony, baby! Ah, Jesco, yes. Hello, Jesco. Hello. Yeah, this is Jesco. Um, you know, that fucking black-ass, jigaboo, porch monkey-ass, ah. talking all that shit. Jesco, don't stop. Jesco, don't. Jesco, don't. Okay. Well, let me, let, let, let me say this. You give a fucking one of those ah. things a gift, right? You give him a gift, and all he does is he hollers racism louder and expects more money to be given to him. It's typical. And if it's not them hollering racism, I need money, uh, give me money, send me money, send me more money, more money, more racism, more blah, 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 blah. If it ain't that, it's violence. He's threatening violence. 
He's committing violence. They're all the same. They all belong in the jungle. They don't belong in first world society. They are fucking low IQ pieces of shit. Oh. What is with you in the filthy mouth? I'll give you a chance to sit there. Well, I was just saying, I sent the guy a gift, and and you, and it's all hell broke loose. You know what I mean? You sent a guy a gift, and he's, you know, he's asking for more. Go figure. It's so standard. It's so typical. Listen, are you going to say, listen to me. Listen to me. Donny Baby's got no beef with you. Oh, obviously, he's all, he's all mad. I sent him a gift. I sent him a deluxo masturbation hut. Tent. He's all fuck hurt over it. That's crazy. Well, you said that? That was you? Yeah. Yeah, I thought I'd send a little, you know, boy. I thought I'd send a boy a gift, you know? No. Shut him up, bitch. Joe, let me bring you on here. I did, I helped you out with a problem you had. And it is you sending out merchandise. Are you the son of a bitch that sent it to Barry too, Jesco? Is it you? Well, I thought you had endorsed all this stuff. I thought you had approved all this stuff. I'm just you doing stuff on, that you approved. You're going to jail. You wanted me to call you Jesco, baby. You're not, your, your cellmates should call you Jesco, baby. That's what they're going to call you. You're not Jesco, baby. You're back to being Jesco, son of a bitch. Do you understand me? Stony, baby. Come on, we gotta stick together. No, We're baby, brothers. Get out of here. We're not friends anymore. You'll never be my friend Stoney, again. Stony, baby. You We're will never brothers. be me, say Jesco, baby. Don't call no more. Don't talk to one of my friends no more. You said Jesco, baby. Here. I heard it. You said get Jesco, out baby. Out of here. You said Jesco. I did not say Jesco, baby. I didn't say Jesco, baby. That's not what I said. I said I will not be calling you Jesco, baby. Or I'm fed stop sending me the damn code word. You said it th- th- so many times. I get it. I know it's you. But there goes my uh, debate. There goes my debate. There, there goes Donnie, baby, and Jesco. Not Jesco, baby. He's Jesco, Sam. I am going to be taking more calls. The show's about racism or anybody that's been discriminated against. Don't call here and accuse me of saying things like that the handicapped guy did. Let's just, let's just keep it going. And I want more information about Kent Harper. And now Jesco, who's behind things with Kent, they're probably having sex with the penis shores like that guy Higgins did. I don't know. Two one shamo. Two one hey, shamo. Hey, Tony, it's me, one. Pastor Ken. How you doing? Oh, jeez. Hey, Pastor. Pastor, well, what, what's going on? I don't know. Some people are making up stuff about me. Okay, I don't know what they're talking about. I do not support no pedosexual or movement. Okay, the only thing I support is the LGBTQ community. Okay. Um, is, and that's because I do a lot of counseling with them, okay, and uh, I do not support or nor I do I endorse any pedosexual movement, okay? What, I'm not, I'm, 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 I don't like pedophiles. Why are these guys saying that, that I got people saying that you're really past the tent, the past the tent. Oh, I'm not Pastor Kent. You should know that by now, Okay. I've had you on my show. I've been on your show. Okay, uh, I'm not. I'm not Pastor Kent. I know no well I ever will be Pastor Kent. Okay, okay. Uh, and 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 and, and Spencer, you can even ask Spencer. Spencer will tell you. Okay, that I'm not Pastor Kent. That I'm Pastor Ken. Okay, because Spencer is one of your enforcers, isn't he? Yeah, he's your enforcer, Spencer. Yes. Yeah, he'll tell you, he'll verify that I am who I am, okay? Okay, I'm not Pastor Kent, nor will I ever be Pastor Kent, okay? 
So, okay, this needs to stop. Okay, um, uh, any, anyway, uh, what is that noise, you fat crowd? I don't you know, somebody's trying, trying, somebody's blowing up my computer. Okay, alright, okay, they think it's, they think it's funny. Okay, evidently, whoever called that in, okay, and said that, said that crap, okay, okay, is, is, is a liar. Okay, okay, I would, I would never endorse, I would never endorse any, any pedosexual movement, nambler, or anything else. Okay, okay, uh, uh, Pastor Ken, are you a part of a thing called accordion chat? According, according to Jack, no, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I got the chat form over here saying that there is a thing called accordion chat. Are you, you're not one of those guys that are, that, that are in the accordion chat. I, I don't know what they call accordion chat. I'm in, a, I, I'm in a chat room called Discord, okay? Okay, that's all I know. Okay, I got invited to it. Oh! Okay, and, uh, okay, I don't know what they call no. it, accordion. That's the kind of very disappointed. I, I, but I, I gotta let you go, buddy. I'm sorry. I gotta let you go, Pastor Ken. I apologize. But I, I, I gotta let you go. I can't, can't believe this. The pastor, the pastor just said, it's cool. Well, you're a pastor. You're not supposed to be there doing it, things in it. And then the, the chat room called Titch Core. That's porn. That's not okay. Porn's not okay. If you're a pastor, that's insane. I, I, I don't understand this. I, I can't believe that guy actually said t kids coins. He's supposed to be a pastor. What's going on in the world? Jesus, two four zero, two four zero. I'm very confused. Be a good caller, please. What's up, brother? It's Don again. I just wanted to call uh, in, and, and, and this, this is going to be a this is actually a good call, brother, because I'm not mad anymore. I heard Jesco, yeah, he called in, he called me some racist names and whatnot, but I'm now checking out of the Motel 6, brother, because he admitted on the airwaves that he sent me the masturbation tent as a gift, even though I didn't want it. My wife heard, the, uh, I, sent, I, I, I sent the show to my wife, she heard the show, she was listening when Jesco called in, and so now I get to go home. So I would actually like to thank Jesco for admitting to it, because he could have very easily denied it, made my life even worse, but he admitted to it, he told, he told you he sent me the masturbation hut, I know you're pissed that people are still doing that, and, and believe me, I, I, I didn't want this huge-ass masturbation hut with wheels, but he admitted to it, so I feel good, I'm going home, I get to sleep in my bed, so I wanted to thank Jesco, and I also wanted to tell you, brother, I think Ken and Kent are the same guy. I, I've been doing a little research, and I think they are the same person, brother. I think they, I think Ken has pulled the wool over everyone's eyes. I think he's actually Kent. So that would mean that he's behind all of this craziness. I can't believe this. This is insane. This is. Well, the man is diabolical. I mean, he is a diabolical person. Pray, I mean, he, he pray for my dying mother. He pray for my dying mother. I let, I let, I let him. Uh, I let him do the the, the, the show plugs. I let him plug his own show, and, and now he's sitting there. And, and he, now he's doing the accordion chat, and now he's watching porn in the in the in the kids kids core. He's a well, he's a wolf in sheep's well, clothing, as he always says. He always uses that term to describe people. It's actually him, brother. I don't know if you've talked to any uh, other enforcers like, like Spencer Rice or Johnny Longfeather, but I'm sure they're probably do doing some research on him as well, and I would think they'll come up with the same thing that I came up with, that either Ken, or Ken and Ken are the same person, or Ken is behind all this stuff, because I'm telling you, the masturbation hut, the movies, all that crazy stuff. I think he's coming from San Antonio, Texas, brother.
But just go say, just go say that he sent everybody a tent with my face on it so they could all check off it. No, but I'm saying somebody's got to produce them, brother. Uh, Jesco just sent it. He doesn't mean he produced it, brother. Oh, jeez. But there is Jes Jesco squared himself away. He sent you some money. Is that what he did? No, he didn't send me any money. He sent me a masturbation tent. But uh, what I'm saying to you, br brother, brother, what I'm saying to you is when he called in earlier and was saying all that racist shit, Jigaboo, Jungle, all that shit, uh, he actually did say that he sent the masturbation hut which proved my point to my wife that I had nothing to do with it. He was trying to send it to me and, and, and as a gift, and there's no shenanigans going on, so my wife is letting me come back home and sleep in my bed, and I'm out the Motel 6, brother. Jesus, that's good. I'm glad, I'm glad to tell you. You don't have to send me any money, Tony. One thing I heard Jesco say is that all black people want handouts and all this other tomfoolery and foolishness. You don't have to send me any money, brother. You never had to. You don't need to. I'm, I'm home. I'm out the Motel 6. Everything is beautiful. No need to send me any money. Nobody send Don any money. I don't take handouts. I stand on my own two feet, brother. Hey. Are you in the bathroom, Tony? Are you taking a shit? No, no, I'm not done. Done. I'm not. Brother, don't do that to me again. I, I, if you're on the toilet, man, I swear to God, don't, don't. Is that, you, that, are you, that, are you no, I, no, I hate it. I, I, I had that. I got out of this, so I'm, I'm drinking some uh, pe pepto fish, Mom. I'm not on the toilet. Okay. Jeez. Okay. What? All right. All right. Sorry. I, Tony, don't yell at me, man. Come on, brother. Oh, I mean, you got to admit, you, shit, you took a shit on the phone with me before. I, I'm, I'm just a little gun shot, brother. I'm sorry. I know what you mean. I, I feel gun shy too. I'm sorry. I pooped on the phone with you. And uh, 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 I just, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a mess right now. I can't believe a pastor said he was a titch call. And I'm so sorry about the, 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 the um, It's all right, brother. Everything's good now. You, now you just got to get to the bottom of this Ken baloney and all this crazy tomfoolery. Sheesh. Shenanigans. That man's a charlatan. That man is a charlatan. He's given a bad name to pastors everywhere, bishops and, and all, I mean, just everyone. It, it just he, horrible man. I don't know why he, why he's doing this to all of us that trusted him. Wait, 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 wait. I don't understand this. I'm sorry. I'm a very faithful man. I, I want to hear that pastor's doing stuff like that, going on the, going on the dirty website, the kids website. I can't. No, he, he, he oh, and, and, oh, 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 Tony, Tony, I forgot the best part, brother. And I have nothing against this. My, I got friends everywhere that are, that are homosexual. But the best part is he lives with a man named Tony. And I'm not even joking, brother. He lives with a man named Tony. That is his boyfriend or husband or whatever. Well, he's got good taste if that's the case, but... It's so weird. He's, no, no, it's he's true. Got... The guy's name is Tony, but he, he's he's crazy, the guy that he lives with. Oh, that's not good. No, no, it's not good at all. But, it's you know, I, I just wanted to call you, call you, give you some information, brother. Uh, thank Jesco publicly for, for getting me out of the doghouse. Now this that dog shit Motel 6. Sorry, I don't know if you've ever stayed at a Motel 6, but let me tell you something. If you pay more than $3 to go in that son bitch. You're paying too much, brother. Yeah, I, I don't go to the Motel 6. I, the last uh, place I stayed at was, um, was the NBC Suites in uh, East Boston. Oh, you're hot and, I, and stuff, brother. Oh, man, listen, no, what happened was uh, one of my friends decided to come back. Uh, he uh, was visiting town. He's a lawyer. And um, oh. he started, yeah, he started off as a good night. He started off as a good night. And then uh just uh, bad things happened. They started drinking. Just someone threw their pants out the window. The windows weren't supposed oh. to be open. The incidentals got you. Yeah, it was a mess. It was uh, unbelievable. I, I don't go near the NBC Suites. As a matter of fact, I got kicked out of a hotel here because of Jesco. But besides the point, just besides the point. Well, 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 Tony, brother, I appreciate you taking my second call. I didn't mean to take up any air time, but I wanted to, like I said, all, all's fair in love and war, brother. I had to publicly thank Jesco for getting me out of the Motel 6. And also, 
tell you about Ken and his gay lover and also all the other shenanigans that he's involved with. I would I would check out I would talk to Spencer Rice and, and Johnny Longfeather to, to verify the uh the Ken Kent stuff. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but based on all the all the stuff that I've seen and heard, I think I think they're the same guy. So anyway, brother, I'm gonna get it off the show now. I'm gonna I'm gonna get back on hold, but I love you. Thank you for taking my call. Thanks for not pooping while I was talking. I appreciate you, brother. Hey, no, no problem, Donnie. Take, take it easy, my friend. Take it easy. Amen, brother. Thank you. Amen. Donnie, baby, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Donnie, sides. Just off, y'all listening. That was a good thing you did. Well, you're, not, you're not just off, baby. I'm mad at you. I'm mad at you. And Harry Wang, don't disrespect Johnny sides. Do not disrespect Johnny sides, ever. He's my friend. It sent vibrations. It sent vibrations to my eyes. Do you understand me? Don't do that no more. Go back to the phones. Tonight's topic is racist. Don't play weird noises in the show, please. I can't do this. A five seven. A five seven. What do you hear? What do you say? Hello? Welcome. Buenos noches. Oh. This is Rico Martini. Uh, how, hello, I'm Rico. I'm calling to tell you one thing. Okay. Did you want me? One thing only. You will pay for lying to your listeners. I don't lie you to my listeners. For breaking a Madeline's heart. Ma- Madeline? For trying to steal Sherry from me. I try to steal Sherry from you. To break my corazon. I didn't steal Sherry from Not you. Me. Make one thing clear with yourself that Rico Martini will make to you. You what? try to break me? Rico no. will break you. Don't fight me! Get out of here! Get, get, get out of here with the music! What the hell is that? Get. I have literally, literally never met a man named Rico Martini. In my life, I, I, I never. I, 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 why would somebody? Well, uh, anyway, it's five zero seven. Five zero seven. What do you hear? What do you say? First of all, shut up, you dumb motherfucker, piece of shit. Ah! Ever fucking call again? Don't fucking ever threaten me again, you ignorant motherfucker! Blowhard, I don't fuck you, son of a bitch! Don't call me a blowhard! You dumb motherfucker! Get out of here! Don't call me a dumb uh, mf! Don't ever say that to me! Call them a who are you people? Who are you people that you want to call in? I got I got friggin' pushing boots on the last phone. I get that get that. There was either ghost or some cowboy or something calling me. Yeah, right. Yeah, I can't deal with this. You know, the topic, uh, the topic for tonight is racism. Can, can we stick to something here? Do I ever discriminate against? If you got advice that you need, there's a half hour left. I don't want any Hispanic, Hispanic guy, Zorro guys calling in here and making threats to me, which was a lie because I, I never said, I never stole Sherry from some guy. Don't call in here and swear. Don't, don't, don't call in here and swear. Don't do it. 
Ja, ciao, pory, nie ma ciało. I don't know. Six one two. Six one two, what do you hear? What do you say? Six one two, hello? Okay, six one two, goodbye. Six zero nine. Six zero nine. What do you hear? What do you say? I'm here to speak with Tony. Hello? What? Hello? Is this Tony? Yes, Tony. Goodbye. I don't like your voice. Your voice sucks. Get out of here. Six five one. Six five one. What do you hear? What do you say? Hello, Tony. This is Carl. And I just want to say that I got some items from Barry's Flower Shop and Fire Yours. And I really like the mask he sent out. He's got a mask that's got your face on it that he sent out to me. And he's also sent out a general neck t-shirt that has a gold chain on it. And on the back it says, Tony Talk, hit the sides. And I really like that too. It's really Really, really nice. So, Barry's got some nice stuff he's selling, and I, I just want to say thank you for the merchandise that you sent to Barry. That is thank not you. real merchandise. I did not make that. And oh, I oh, oh. hit the sides. Why is he making money off my shit? Hit the sides. I don't know. That's what he sent out. He's got it on his website. If you go to Barry's Flower Shop and Pottery Works, and then you click on where it says Miscellaneous, and it's got your merchandise on it, and it shows coming items, too. He's got new items in the works, and I don't know what, but that's what he said on his website. And I sent the money, and he gave me the mer- brought the merchandise, sent the merchandise out to me. So it's... Uh, it's very nice stuff, high quality too. I just, this is fabulous. So I, I just wanted to call. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You spend your money on a on a on a, on a shyster, but yeah, yeah, you're welcome. It's a joy to masturbation, Ted. Why not? There's so many in circulation. Everybody, just get together. Go go to masturbation, Ted. Jerk off. Yeah, spread it all over the place. I don't care no more. Get out of here. Don't call no more. That shit. Yeah. Everybody wants to talk about the, the, the masturbation stuff. Yeah, everybody. I, I don't do those things. Can I spend a night of porn and dirty things between pitch core and... Uh, I just need a normal call, guys. Can I have a normal call like Donnie, baby, please? 618. 618. Uh-huh. You son of a bitch! Yeah, get out of here. Burp and fight somewhere else. Do that in privacy or bathroom or something, will you? 773. 773, what do you hear? What do you say? So, 773, that's what he asked me. Okay. Hello? Okay. Thank you, 773. Thank you, 773. 973, what do you hear? What do you say? Yes, oh, I'm the train. Don't. Yeah, she's ghosting again. Yeah, and I, I know, Spencer. Another stupid ghost call. Listen, ghost, you want to send your guys over here? You want to send your guys over here? Okay. I'm going to start calling your show. Someone email me when his show starts, because Uncle Tony's going to call ghost. I had enough of this back and forth. I had enough of this back and forth. 
Nah, not there with it. Not there with it no more. Don't want to deal with it. To one Shero. To one Shero, you're going to be ghosted. Hey, Tony, I have a friend who wants to talk to you. And no, it's not Amos. Oh. His name's Ass. <laughs> You fired it into a leather couch. What's the matter with you? She is showing you like you. She was fired into a leather couch. It doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense at all. I don't understand it. Don't understand it at all. It was the notch. That's what it is. It's all that it is. Yeah, I'm trying to get a thing going now. Uh, as far as the, the, the racist stuff goes, you, you know, we can't do this no more. You can't, you can't do this no more. Don't, don't do it. Don't, don't do the racist stuff. I'm no caller. I see you sitting in my ass switchboard. I'm not, I'm not answering you. You're out of here. You're done. I, I, I got 20 minutes left. Can we have some good callers, please? It's like, oh, hot oh, oh, seven. Uh, hello? Who are you expecting to talk to? Fuck this, the body, go ahead. What, what, what crawled up your ass and into your brain and ate away at it that made you so goddamn retarded? <sighs> Thanks for playing that back to me. Thanks for playing uh, me having a meltdown back to me. I appreciate it. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Oh, Harvey Wang in my chat room, you son of a bitch. Listen, the topic of tonight's racism because just go. Just go. He's sitting there. And he wanted to get on here and talk to Don, to Donnie Baby, Donnie Sides. And he flaked on me. He just got on here and started yelling. So I'm going to stick to topic. I'm going to stick to the damn topic. Sports, chicks, and wrestling? Uh, I guess so. But no, I'm not going to talk about sports. I'm here to help people. I'm not, I'm not a damn sports broadcaster. Just not. It's not how it works. Two to four. Two to four. What do you hear? What do you say? You want to hear what Uncle Tony? By the rivers of Babylon, there we I'm sorry, Carl. I mean to hang up on you. I, I was going to put you on uh, mute. Because you, really, you really didn't aggravate me. You just uh, played the British of Babylon. That wasn't too bad. That's, uh, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. Two on zero. Two on zero. Yes. Oh. Hello, Tommy. Oh, it's me, Pastor Ken. I'm I'm getting tired of being lied upon, okay? I've got a I've got a heavenly grace ministry chat that's on Discord and I try to spread the news on every on every social media platform I can. Okay? I don't know what people are lying on me for and why are they saying this stuff because I speak to Don Cornelius every night. Okay? Okay, he calls in on my show. You, he, he's calling on the show when you've been on my t on my show on the radio. Okay, so you know I know you know what I'm talking about is true. Okay, but so why is he lying Ken. on me? And but, I don't know. But, but Pastor Ken, you just said you're in the accordion chat with the guys here pretending to be my friends. And then you said you were looking at the kids call or something. I have my own channel. I have my own channel on Discord. I spread the news on every social media. I spread it on, I used to spread it on Twitter. I used to spread it on Instagram. Okay, but now I'm basically on Facebook and Discord. Okay, okay, that's all I know what it is. Okay. Why are you doing it? Pastor, please, we, you, you got because people, the people are ungodly. I'm trying to reach the ungodly. That's my job. I'm a pastor. But then why okay? are you talking to people on 
catch call. I don't understand it. I, I don't get it. It's, it's, a, it's a social media outlet. For boobs. It's porn. Well, I got my own channel. Okay, I, I speak to people every night on Discord. I speak to Don Cornelius. I speak to uh, okay, uh, Spencer Rice on it. I speak to uh, everybody on this. Okay? I can't do this right now. You, you admitted to me that you have your own channel on Discord. This is ungodly of you. You're a pastor. Discord is not ungodly. Maybe some some other channels are, but my channel is not ungodly. You can come uh, on and check my uh, check my channel. It's HGM. I can't believe this. A pastor just got a show channel on Discord. I don't understand it. There's nothing wrong with Discord. Pastor, I I, I gotta go. There's something wrong. If you gotta go on a website called Discord, I, I I gotta go, Pastor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. Jeez. I thought that that, that pastor was his uh, pastor's a man of God. He's on it. I apologize for saying the word tits for the tits card. Eh? I can't. I can't do it. I'm very confused about tonight. Very confused about tonight. He actually said to me, he said, oh, I'm on tits call. Just 618. 618, if you've got a chat room and a porn thing, don't, please don't tell me about it. Uh, you son of a bitch. Don't call him, burp. Don't call him, burp, and fart. This isn't the gas place. You don't sit there and you fart and burp at a phone. Yeah, I know, Mad Mark. Yeah, I am. Uh, I can't believe it. I have my heart shut on this guy. He's a good guy. He's a good guy, Pastor Ken. I'm losing everybody to porn. I can't believe this. 574. <laughs> I would do guys call in here with fats. It was an entire song about fats. That's what that was. It was put here. Guys don't know good music. That's what you guys should be asking me about is if I saw music. Because we all know Uncle Tony's got the pipes. That's right. 509. Five share nine with here. Take a whip of Get out of here. Shut up, bitch. Five share. Five share. This is Tony. Yes. Hello. Hello. Get out of here. Yeah. Hey, don't call him no more. I'm Tony. Don't call him no more. Don't be an imposter. Don't be an imposter calling in here. Down the Three, one, two. Go out, Kelly. You see, you got your boys down. You are here every weekend. You're talking about you and this thing in me down. Yeah, you have a terrible voice. Don't, don't call in here and, and, and ruin our real speed wagon for everybody, please. Seven to seven. Seven to seven. Guess what? You earned that ticket to my woodshed. Let me get my bill. This is what you get, boy. Okay. All the stonards are out tonight. All the stonards are out tonight. Oh! Do you want to say that, Nick Digger? Nick Digger said yes to... to no, don't say that in my chat room. We do not have room for that. Get out of here. 618. 
Six, one, eight, what do you hear? What do you say? You're on the phone, Uncle Tony. Eighteen naked cowboys in the showers at Ram Ranch. Oh. This is not Ram Ranch. This isn't the naked oh. cowboys. You put the wrong number. Ah. Oh. Yeah, diarrhea. I'll tell you what, listen. I'm not gay. But uh, you don't want to go to the Ram Ranch with diarrhea, that's for sure. I'll tell you that much. Now you're going to destroy that song over the way, Bo? You're going to destroy that song, too? You tell, I don't understand these guys, the bad boys, just trying to sing good songs. Two, two, four. Two, two, four, what do you hear? What do you say? I, I sit there and walk around and sing niggas, 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 niggas. Oh. niggas. No, why is it me? That's not me. That's an imposter. I, I'm drowning out here. I can't get any good callers. Can I get good callers, please? Somewhere. Yeah, somewhere over the rainbow. Someone that can sing. 518. 518, what do you hear? What do you say? Okay, so you want to sit there and touch yourself on the phone? Don't, don't touch yourself on the phone. 618, what do you hear? What do you say? 18, snakey cowboys, the sideways are being on their hands. Okay, let's just get in there. What's your real rich cost? That's just what I'm doing. I'm just getting a bunch of rare range calls. The child, child that wants to call here. That child that wants to call my show. But the rare ranches. That's great. That's nice. Yeah, I try to have a subject. I try to have a subject. Yeah. I've been beating guys all night in my chat room. Uh, Mr. Sparkles, I'm working on a, uh, on a CD. I am. I truly sure am. Any normal callers, please. People that are, 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 are looking at porn, are the pastors, please. Five zero seven. Years ago, Miami. They used to go over there in Miami Beach and steal all the goddamn. Pastries were from their restaurant there. I like to eat it, so I couldn't. I highly doubt that Jewish people stole pastries. Oh God, damn! Nothing but oh. thieves and liars. You got a problem? Get out of here, you anti-Semite! What makes you think that Jews are the only ones that uh, that 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 doing that? What what makes you think that they are the Jews? No, not all Jews steal pastries. Nine nine one. Stupid Italian son of a bitch. Take a whip of some of that. I have nine minutes left. I'm just gonna get a bunch of stupid cars now. That's all. That's all the cars here, Stonat. It is a phone six one eight. Are you a buffoon? Go ahead. I don't think I'm a buffoon, Tony. Why would you call me that? Oh, gee, sorry, buddy. I don't know who this is. Who, who is this? Oh, my name is... Um, oh. Ah! Ah! Listen, I really apologize for that. Listen, I apologize. I'm really sorry. Hi, I'm really sorry about that stupid stuff. Guy, I... Uh, I apologize. I, I, listen, I just tried to have a good topic tonight. I want to see if these two guys... Uh, Jessica and Donnie Baby, 
quick talk. But apparently, I don't watch the cage. Didn't get a chance to. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know no more. I don't know. But look, I got seven minutes left. I'm not taking any good calls here. Uh, d d d this is insane. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close this out. This is going to be the easiest one I ever close out, too. Uh, racism. There's no room for it. There's no room for it. Don't bring it up. Don't make another person feel like garbage. It's not good. Yeah, you, you can't do things like that. You can't do things like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's, that's where I, I guess uh, you don't be a racist, be a good person. Listen, when someone's down and out to help somebody out, it doesn't take much to be a good human being. It doesn't take much to, 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 to do all this. Um, and, you know, you, you got to be a good human being. You can't sit there and be. I, I, I don't know. You, you just can't. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat was closing. Uh, my throat was closing. I tell you what, I feel bad for the listeners that actually called in. I do, I feel really bad for the listeners that called in tonight. Expecting a show with Jesco. Expecting a show with Jesco. Oh, that was loud. But, um... So, I, you know, I already gave my two cents on a racism thing. I, I try to do my best. I appreciate it. Um, you know what I'm going to do for my listeners? I'm going to close out with a song. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close out with a song. It's going to be a good song, too. Because, you know, Uncle Tony's got them pipes. Uncle Tony has got the pipes. I've probably sang this before, but I'm going to sing it again. This actually goes out to somebody that I truly love and care about. Please, I wish you would, uh, if you know the lyrics, you guys can sing along with me. If you guys don't know the lyrics, don't worry about it. It's no big deal. But this is my gift to you. That's right. My gift to all you people out there. You don't leave me out of this pain. Don't leave me out in the rain. Come back to bring back my smile. Come and take these tears away. I need your arms to hold me now. The nights are so unkind. Bring back those nights when I held you beside me. Unbreak my heart. Say you love me again. Undo this hurt you cause when you walked out the door and walked out of my life. Uncry these tears, I cry so many nights, unbreak my heart. Oh. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I'll break my heart. I'll break my heart. That's it. Just like Uncle Tony on breaks everybody else's hearts. You guys call in. I give you some advice. What you do with the advice? I don't know what you do with it. It could be used for good. It could be used for bad. Or it could just run down your leg and you'll never see it again. Who knows? But I do my part. And even if I help one person. Even if I help one person. That's what I did. I got two minutes left. 
Maybe I take one more call. We're gonna go to the phones. A5 Chevin. Ah. Uh, no, Buenas. not again. Buenos noches. No. He's a Rico Martini. Okay. No, good night. Uh, I hung up on you, Rico. Did you already call the Major Tretch? Don't call him no more. Every time I hear a guitar, I uh, hang it up. If you guys want to call, don't, don't play Spanish guitars in the background. I uh, thank you for all the call, Dan. I appreciate everything. I apologize to my listeners. Um, hope you enjoyed the song at least. And uh, that's about it, guys. Thank you very much. I guess I'll see you guys Sunday night. I'll try to come up with something. I'm going to go scour through my email so I can talk about something. Try to help you guys out. Until then, remember Uncle Tony Love Show. Except for the students, but even Uncle Tony's got a little bit of love for them, too. Uncle Tony Love Show. Bola Sarah. I'll see you guys Sunday. Good night. And I'll go find myself my pills and I'll be there in the